Hello all my dear students welcome back to prudence coaching can you solve this particular question within 5 seconds yes within 5 seconds it is possible to solve within 5 seconds if you know the trick how to solve it in this video we are going to learn the trick yes this question is going to be very important for your upcoming exam because you have seen this particular question several times in your previous year paper so let us start with the question here it is given two trains are of same length can cross a pole in 7 seconds and 9 seconds respectively so let us assume the first train to be t1 and the second train to be t2 and here it is given that the time taken to cross a particular pole in case of train 1 is 7 second and in case of train 2 is 9 second Now here it is asked in how much time will they cross each other if they are coming from the opposite direction So here it is said that they are moving in the opposite direction that means they are moving towards each other in this case you need to add the speed of both the trains to get the relative speed Now as the length of the train is not given we will assume it to be 63 that is the lcm of 9 and 7 why because by doing so we can avoid the fraction now 63 by 7 if you do you will get the speed of the first train that is 63 by 7 you will get 9 because when the train will cross pole it will cross its own distance so 63 is distance divided by 7 that is time you will get speed that is 9 similarly in the second case 63 divided by 9 if you do you will get 7 so 7 will be the speed now we need the relative speed as we have already discussed we need to add the speed so 9 plus 7 you will get relative speed that is 16 now we know the formula that is distance equal to speed into time from this we can find out the time so time will be equal to distance by speed and here distance will be the total length that is the length of both the trains together so 63 plus 63 or 63 multiplied by 2 now if we divide this by speed we will get the time speed is the relative speed that is 16 so divide it by 16 we can cancel 2 eights are 16 we are getting 63 by 8 second now as you can see the time was given in second so you will get your answer in second 63 by 8 second will be your final answer if you find the content of this video helpful do like subscribe and share this video with your friends see you in the next video with new important concept